Hey guys, I'm back with another video, but this one's a bit different than my other videos because normally I would do music videos or lately I've been doing Jojo meme videos. I'm going to do um, a review of anime or reviews of animes um, that I personally think would be a great watch or that I personally like. Now, the first anime to start off this series, if you want to, um, is called Steinsgate. Now, this one's pretty popular. It, ha it has two seasons with 24 episodes per season, um, a movie, and a OVA, obviously. Um, now, this review is going to include spoilers, so if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you go watch it. Um, anyways... Let's get into the video. So, this first segment of the video uh, is going to be talking about the first season and the OVA. Okay, so the first season is really entertaining, but also very serious at the same time. The first nine episodes are pretty slow, but they're about character development. So, it's understandably... It's kind of hard to watch. At first, I kind of got deterred off it because it was really slow. Um, but as soon, but as soon as episode nine hits, crap hits the fans. Now, the part that I'm going to get into includes spoilers. So, what I would suggest you do is you would click off this video, watch the um, watch the entire series, so that season one, season two, the OVA, and the movie. And then come back to me. Okay, so now that you have w hopefully watched it, in episode 9 is when cra uh, Crap gets crazy because of Mayuri's death. <laughs> Mine and many others of many other Steinsgate fans' opinions, at least this is what I think, uh, this is the think that this is the most pivotal point in Okabe's mental state. After this moment, um, Okabe has to change so many of his um, has to change so many of his friends' wishes and deepest desires to fit to keep Mayuri alive. So let's take Ferris for example, the little the cat girl. She wants her father to be alive, but she also wants Mayuri to be alive. But to do that, she has to let her father die. But if he let, but if she doesn't want her father to die, then Mayuri dies. Um, and Okabe does want to keep both of them alive, but unfortunately he doesn't know how to. So Ferris does sacrifice her father for Mayuri. Mayuri, or how about what is it? Urushibara, or, or Luka, Ruka, Rukaka, possibly. I think. Um, how Okabe has to change him back to a him because she wished that, or he wished that he was a girl so that he could actually be allowed to be in love with Okabe. Now. This is was like this was like her deepest. This was his deepest desire, but he has to give that up to keep Mayori alive. Or how about the one that Okabe did himself? The biggest sacrifice that he has to do. He has to sacrifice his love and interest, Chris, or Chris, Christina, assistant, zombie, all that sort of stuff. Um, but in the final episode, he does. Find a way to save both Mayuri and Christina. Um, which he then achieves Steinsgate. Which, in Steinsgate, uh, Steinsgate means he has achieved the perfect world. Or the perfect world line in his mind, you could say. Um, we'll get into world lines and a bit more stuff like that. Either in another video or if you want. Um, 
the OV the OVA does look a little bit uh, into what um a little bit does look a little bit what happens after Okabe achieves Science Gate. So he goes over to America to meet Chris, uh, Christina, um, and he gets stuck out in the middle of a desert and ends off with a cliffhanger. Three, two, one. This part is going to talk about the second season and the movie. Okay, so the second season follows Okabe if he didn't go back and save Christina for the second time. Um, he would stop the future um, lab group. Uh, he would go back to university and he would find out, he would find um, Chris's mentor and friend, uh, Hiyajo. Hiyajo. Um, and she shows him a artificial intelligence version of Christina called Amadeus. Um, in this season, Okabe hates time travel and strongly advises against Yank making a time travel machine or using it because he doesn't want anyone to follow what he did in the first season. Going through different world lines, having to see lots of people die, see a world practically change around them, all that sort of stuff. Um, during the during the se season, a character called Suzuha, um, one of the main cast's uh, daughter from the future, comes back and tries to get Okabe to go back to the past to change his mistake of not going back a second time. Um, he constantly, constantly says no, and also a little mini arc of this is uh, a, I forget her name, a girl goes back with Suzuha and gets lost midway because of the Y2K thing. They try to stop, they stop that. Um, so they find her and she has become a part of the, or she doesn't know, but she becomes a part of the bad guy's side. So he tries to, so Okabe tries to go back in time to stop that, but in doing so, he falls into a coma for 11 years, goes forward in time to the time when John Tita says that World War Three is in its highest, I think. He is in a, he was in a coma for quite a bit of time and all that. He's, he practically has to go back from the future back to the past and has to because of what he did, he um, he finds out that Mayuri and Suzuha go back, try to go back to the past to change Okabe him themselves, but they find out that they keep dying, just like in the first instance, how Mayuri is destined to die. Um, so Okabe has to Okabe has to find a way to stop that. So. He does stop it eventually. Um, it does take quite a bit of time. Um, Mayuri and Susuha do go back in time and tell uh, past Mayuri to give Okabe a big old slap across the forehead or across the face uh, if he does complain about not wanting to go back. Um, and this also helps in the first season, helps him achieve Steinsgate. Um, so, and then the second season ends off with a cliffhanger where older Okabe goes back in time or yeah goes back in time into a different world line where he is practically a hit in the science gate head area and stuff like that so this is where the movie picks up Okabe is in the science gate uh, world line but this movie isn't following Okabe, it's following Christina. And her journey to save Okabe. So Okabe is in Steinsgate world line, but he isn't meant to be. So 
he be, he goes flashing in between world lines. So he'll go to the world line where um, his boss kicks, uh, is dead and his daughter finds him and wants to kill him. Or he'll go, and then he'll go back to the Steins Gate world line. Or he'll go back to the one where um, Rukako is still a girl. And then he'll go back. And each time he goes back, it's a bit longer than the last. And each time he does go back, he gets forgotten in the Steins Gate. Causing Christina, Mayuri, Daru, Suzuha, oh no Suzuha, um, Ferris, all that sort of stuff to forget him and the world line to morph around it, try to correct itself. So Christina tries to save him by going back in time and <laughs> kissing younger Okabe, causing that somehow to think that this is the will, real world line. And that's, and then she goes back into the future and that's practically where it ends off. As you can tell, I I do love Steins Gate. Steins Gate is amazing. It is really popular, uh, and I don't know why I um, why I quit half like on the first episode. It's amazing. I love the way they show the character development and the mental state in the first instance of Okabe. So I love the way they show Okabe's mental state during the first season for his trip through the different world lines trying to save Mayuri. Um, if I had to rate it, which I am obviously going to rate it, a 9 out of 10. Not, not, it's not perfect, but I do love the characters, I love the story, I love the openings, I love the ending. It's almost perfect. Um, if you did enjoy this kind of video and you want to see more, please do leave a like and tell me in the, in the comments what kind of anime I should watch next and review. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.